We'll get you there. We'll get you there. All right. And we are live, folks. Welcome to the Sit Down Standard, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying movies, watching television, or playing games. I'm one of your hosts, David Bram, joined, as always, by the person that will not leave me like Brangelina, Gerald Bales. Whoa. Right, big, big story, bro. Yeah, relevant. Did you hear about it? Of course. Does it, I I've mean- heard about it for the past <laughs> 10 years, David. No, but they broke up. They're divorced. Yeah, they've been saying that for 10 years. I, well, they just got married like a few years ago. They were like, wow, that was no, a bad idea. One, they've been married for... Three. First of all, I don't really care about any of this. People get divorced sure. all the damn time, all right? Yeah. I don't care. Sure. But uh, listen, the tabloids are right, David. The tabloids have been saying this for years. That they're going to get divorced? Yeah, you don't see like the crappy tabloid star and people... I don't like, watch that crap. They say that she's an alien and he's like a... I don't know. And- yeah, but a divorced alien. And they were <laughs> they were right. Anyways, hello, David. How are you? I'm good. Um, I'm really good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm tired, David. Uh, and we'll get to that later. Why? But um, I'm I'm good. Good to know. Um, by the way, if you are listening to the audio version, we got to do these shameless plugs. Go to youtubecom yes. sit down standard. We do a video uh, version of our podcast, so you can see our beautiful faces, our sun red faces, sun feeding the baby birds. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we tell jokes that, of course, I think only we get. But anyways, no longtime listeners will get. That's that true. Joke. That's true. I'm um, gotta gotta help the listener out there. Yeah. Um, you can also go on audio services if you just want to listen to the audio. We're on uh, what are all the different services? The Joe? Apple Podcast app, <laughs> yes, iTunes. iTunes, of course, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, SoundCloud. We gotta renew that, that membership. Stuff cost money it. does it really yeah we did it like a year ago and i just got an email uh, somebody okay. wants money it's like of course of they course do. they do they want all of our money all the money so look at our studio <laughs> we're making money that's right anyways monetizing uh, those youtube videos um you can too. always of course send us an email uh to sit down standard at gmail.com i do have an email i'll get to that a little thank later. god we got an email please send us emails guys um, we want to we want to communicate with you guys yeah definitely you guys are so cool for listening to us and again communicate to us remember uh if you send us an email and it gets picked you get a five dollar gift certificate we're to paying you guys amazon uh steam or starbucks so yes. i'll get in touch with the person who wrote the email we'll get to that a little bit later perfect i haven't even seen it i know that's why it's exciting uh, here we go um anyways let's start the show catching up with what we did this week with what you doing what you doing what you doing what you doing i'm too tired bah, to bah, bah, bah. move my face vroom, vroom. Oh, baby oh, birds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Gerald, what you doing? What you been doing this week? Got weekend? a lot of stuff here, David. I, you got it. You've been outside. I've been outside. As you can tell, I've been outside. I'll talk about that last because that just happened. I literally came from Victorville like an hour, not even an hour ago. There you go. Anyways, um, started off uh, this week, this past week, with uh, the San Gennaro Feast here in Vegas. It's an Italian food festival. Isn't a well? They, David. <laughs> they. They say it, it's an Italian food festival. Take it easy. <laughs> it's by bi- <laughs> it's biannual. <laughs> they have it here at um, the new uh, park up in North Las Vegas on Craig and uh, MLK ish area. Uh, fantastic park, big open space. <sighs> oh, wow. Gotta, g- gotta get off my lawn, San Gennaro Feast. Okay. How dare you, San Gennaro Feast, call you an Italian food festival. When? Where all you got is like one big food booth where they have like pizza, spaghetti. <laughs> they have mussels. By the way, it's probably... Type. I know. No, I know. That's new that, water. They have one Italian booth, right? <laughs> okay. Everything else is like just your normal Mac fare. and cheese. Yeah, your normal fair Deep stuff. Deep fried everything. They got the crappy rides. No, they no, got I the like gate. those. No. Yeah, if you want to die. Hey, listen. Those carnies don't operate those rides at, to code. That's why I it's more fun. It. No way. I don't want to lose my arm. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just a fair. Yes. It's, it's just an excuse to have an affair because we don't really have a Las Vegas City fair. There is a Clark County Fair in, I think, Logan, mm-hmm. Logandale. Logan, Logandale. Sarah and I went there last week. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, like, sketch and small and... Just don't go. But like, so it's it's kind of like think of like a Las Vegas city fair. They do it biannually, but it's uh it's not an Italian food fair. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarah did have herself some spaghetti. Surprise, surprise! She always gets spaghetti. I had a piece of pepperoni pizza that um, I don't know if you had pepperoni pizza in high school. The square, yes, it's disgusting. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, see when I go to those, what they used to do, and I haven't been in a few years, but they used to have like a sampler. Like you could, there was a bunch of booths that would have food, and then you could instead of spending like eight dollars at every booth and getting like a ton of food you pay 20 and you can pick four places and they give you like their sampler which is a little bit of everything and did i not, rem- did not hear about that you right, right when you walk in you get the the gypsies peddling their wares as i like to say oh my god um, they had helicopter rides for 100 bucks hey well they just take you around a couple laps and they land that was kind of weird um 
And they have uh, they have a stage and they have live musical guests. Of course. If okay, they, without looking at my notes, I, it's like at the San Gennaro feast in a town. Ta- quote unquote. Quote unquote. I'm doing air quotes. Audio, can you hear that? <laughs> Those are quotes. <laughs> uh, Italian food festival. Yes. What would you expect? Sorry, my little hot mic. You're a little hot. Sorry, sorry. sorry. You're, you're, uh, you're. What would you screaming. expect? What would you expect for a? I would think. Guest? Okay. Well, first you got to go with something that's family friendly. Okay. Right? okay. So you're gonna okay. pick something probably not from this generation at all. Something old. Probably okay. something really old because okay. it's Vegas. I would think if I was gonna do it, I'd go with like the old school Italian. I'm thinking like not Dean Martin, obviously, because he's not here anymore. But someone in that vein of Dean Martin. So maybe like a, um, a band that's a like a cover band of like a. Um, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. F- like, um, I'm thinking of some, you know, I'm only going to stop you here. Okay, You're going go the wrong direction. Um, no, no. <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson personally, David, <laughs> <laughs> and a bad one at that. Um, he started <laughs> off strong and by the end he was just, instead of seeing, cause like they have the real song in the background, it was just him like with the real Michael Jackson and him the, like, hell, <laughs> it was just him screaming and stuff. That's, um, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's ignorant, ignorant. That's ignorant. Um, so yeah, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson impersonator. Why? Um, the thing that's weird about Vegas too is like we are the capital of you know entertainment capital of the world, theory, right? Yeah, you would yeah. think you could go get somebody. Well, but, not for the San Gennaro well, feast. How, how busy was it? Because it's usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so it's a weekend festival. Yeah, we went there on Sunday, which is the last day. Right. That's but <laughs> but we went there. Uh, it wasn't too busy when we got there around five ish, but when we left, it was getting packed. No, I remember it being pretty busy, but I it's it's your standard fare. They've got the again the rides. I like the rides. We I did get the sampler you're talking about. Except the sample I got was that funnel cake sampler. There you three go. different mini funnel cakes is delicious. See, that's what you gotta go. You gotta that's what you're looking for when you go to one of those fairs. You're no, I know, but for, I, I'd have just the, don't, I'll have the salad. It's like you're at a fair. No, right? no, I know, and that's fine, but don't call it an Italian food fair when you have one booth that has Italian food. That's Crappy true. Italian food. That's no true. Less. I think it's morphed into just a excuse to get drunk and ride rides, probably. Yeah, but um, I always like it. it is, al- always, always the interesting uh, cornucopia of people at did, these fairs. Did too. you ever have to work the fairs for AT and T? Did because I uh, had to one year. No, at T Mobile when I worked in Reno at T Mobile, I had to. It Ugh, was like you had a table and stuff. Yeah, and it's like the weirdest engaging engagement with people because they're there to did like, you have a spin spin this wheel. Yeah. Like, we'll get you a car charger and like you can sign up for two year free phone. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. stuff like that. The thing I think we had like a plinko thing. It was actually pretty intricate. Mm-hmm. They paid a lot for it, but. Yeah, it's just like the weirdest thing because it's like, hey, you eating that funnel cake? Would you like a cell phone deal? It's like, it's just this the weird... wrong place. Right? They had a DirecTV booth, yeah, I think. There, they, and they had have... like a, the Nissan dealership. <laughs> like, You'd be surprised freaking... though, people. People, I mean, if you're gonna, yeah, you I know. guess. But you never had to do that. Nope. Did you ever have to do like business deals and stuff like that? Where you had to go? You were talking about this last week. You had to yeah, we out. went like door to door and stuff. Yeah, but so nothing, not, not but actual... not like a ridiculous fair. And do you feel bad for or... them? Like, because it's you know. No, it's crappy. I mean, we've both been in sales. We right. know how crappy it can get. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I feel bad for those people. Anyway, so that was the San Gennaro Feast. So you'd give it a thumbs, thumbs down? I mean, if you like fair food, just go there and get some crappy food. Because like, it is biannual. We don't really have any other fairs going on. So yeah. it is an excuse to Well, there's always something like crap, going but... on here, like concerts and, and uh, you know different shows you can see. And there mm-hmm. are food. Now, the thing, when I lived in Reno, it was awesome in Reno. They always had like food. They had like the rib cook-off, the chicken wing cook-off. Like, it was, they had one called... Uh, beers, boo or uh, booze, barbecue, and blues, and it was like a blues festival with a bunch oh, of. Sounds cool. It was awesome, and like so, we used to joke about it, if you didn't have anything to do, just go downtown on the weekend. There was something cool going on. They have hot August nights where they have all the classic cars in August. They have, they have Neil Diamond. <laughs> no, like his album Hot August Nights. No, no all right. I think is that is that Neil Diamond? <laughs> That's an album. Yeah. Okay, I thought that I was, would know, David. Okay, I'm just checking. You're the Neil Diamond <laughs> expert. All right, take it easy. Um, anything <clears throat> else? What else you got going on, man? All right, so that was just Sunday, Dave. <laughs> it's funny because I did ask you like Monday. This week, I was like, "What you? What are you doing so far?" You're like, "It's right, San Gennaro yeah. Feast got one." Well, first you were like, "It's Monday. I haven't done anything." And you're like, "Oh wait, I actually did do something." Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, playing a new game on my phone. Um, it's Pokemon Shuffle, David. Is it it's, like the it's not a new Cupid app? Cupid Shuffle. I don't think it's a new app, but it's new to me. It, no, <laughs> but it's a it's it's a match it's a matching game. You know, think three, of, match three. Yeah, match three game. I guess you can call it. But it's really it's actually cool. Um, I haven't spent any money on it, which is always good. And it has that same thing we talked about, Dots and Co dots and code that i hated so much where you gotta like you get a certain amount of hearts and you gotta wait to refill them whatever my wife is like you're obsessed to me like she, i literally i'm like hold on hold on <laughs> she's like i want to go to dinner i was like i have I, I still have some hearts left hold on 
And she's like, you're you're freaking addicted. Who told you about this? And I was like, Gerald. And she's like, son of a bitch. First of all, how dare you not listen to the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, well, first things first. But <laughs> but yeah, I mean. but I um, love those games. I love Match 3 because it's, it's that perfect balance of like gameplay to quickness to like it just it, you can just do it you know what i mean well it's, me dots and co dots and co i hit that wall so quick and just turned me off for this like it's the perfect like it gives you i think five lives and it takes 30 minutes to recharge or something and it's the perfect like five get you know five levels i can normally bang them out i really have to repeat a level um i'm at like level 70 something right now and there's different each level is a different pokemon and at the end you can catch it and there's ah. different there's different uh catchability i guess percentage and then if you don't catch it the first time with the regular pokeball you can use coins of course David, of course of course to get to use a great ball but um and then they have like they have timed events uh, where they have like rare pokemon will show up yeah. and all this kind of stuff it's super cool um and it has like like i think all of them from all the games so like there's a bunch of them i don't even know but i'm like yeah hey, that's cool so it doesn't have the, the the first gen or whatever they call it yeah it has all of them so um but yeah it's a great game um i haven't hit that wall yet i haven't had to spend any money um so yeah, what, a, what is the mechanic is exactly what it's literally like, it's, what does it look like? Like so each, and- yeah, yeah. So each level is well, kind of, so like each level is a different Pokemon, right? So I want to battle this Pokemon and you have four Pokemon that are yours that you've unlocked previously. Okay. And then when the match three happens, you match your Pokemon together and there's types. Like if you're fighting a grass and you want to use fire type and all that stuff, just like playing Pokemon in the game. Um, and you do more damage to them and, and you only have a certain amount of moves to pretty much make them faint and then you have the chance to catch them afterwards. Gotcha. And then every like 10 or so levels, you're battling a person and you get like more hearts and like more stuff. And you can get like, um, I don't know if you remember in I think XY, they started like mega evolutions. You can unlock mega evolutions and stuff. Of course you don't know. But uh, <laughs> <It's kinda> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's super cool. I really like it. It's addicting. It's perfect. You know, So the Pokemon thing on top of it is not just a Pokemon thing on top of it, right? It's no, like, like, no, they have like a mechanics of the okay. game. You, know, you got to like, match the right Pokemon types against the ones you're fighting. At this point, and... they should just add Pokemon to every mobile game. It's right. like Pokemon Tetris. It's like, what? It's like, oh, the Tetris pieces look like Pikachus. It's like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You know, Pokemon Go is still really popular. We were out at a park the other day. People just still doing it. Of course. Staring yeah. at their phones. I'm like, aren't we done? Aren't we done? Like, didn't we? No? Okay. We still play. Um, but I'm just that once the Apple Watch app comes out, it's gonna be amazing because I don't have don't to have keep to looking at my phone. Yeah, you know, like we can just walk normally. Buzz. Oh, it's Poke Stop. It's oh, the ooh. the difference is is like yeah. Now you don't now you don't know who the Poke people are, right? Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Um, so that was that. Uh, totally addicted. Next thing, uh, David, I joined Uh-oh. the upper echelon of white people. I'm super excited. Okay, what's your high, upper echelon? Got a toast oven. <laughs> so stupid that was sarah said that she's like you know who always buy toaster ovens white people i'm like i don't have a toaster oven yet i am guess you know because you have a toaster oven. i do have a toaster oven <laughs> we have a toaster oven in our office in california <laughs> i guess maybe it is a white people thing it's weird but, because um, like the toaster oven is such a i mean it's like um it's that thing that you buy when you get a new house you know what i mean like everybody like you you get dishes you get glasses and then you get toaster oven so i'm surprised you don't have one because like it's basically a small oven that doesn't ever work <laughs> <laughs> oh really okay so like we got our toaster oven first like i always wanted one for a long time because like we don't really use our oven too much but like if we're making garlic bread we have to heat the whole entire oven put it in it's just like it's a waste of gas electricity yeah. or we're, it's ours just... is gas but um so i've always wanted a toaster oven but i always thought they were expensive go on amazon the top rated and top sold one 30 bucks I'm like, black and decker easy yeah black and decker so it's like 30 bucks they make weed done. whackers and barely microwaves and also <laughs> uh, toaster oven so it's like they they have a weird combo going on there. Um. So yeah, we got it. And the first night, we I set it up, and we're like, you know, we're eating. What do you mean tonight. you set it up? You plugged it in. <laughs> we gotta put the tray in. You gotta <laughs> unwrap all the plastic, David. There is some setup process <laughs> involved. How dare you? But um, you know, what we did for dinner tapas. Tapas. We had tapas. So we went. We got like you know the. I got bagel bites. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. T- I don't think sorry <laughs> bite-sized oven food isn't tapas just like hey when pizza's, when pizza's on a bagel you can have pizza anytime yeah and she got like egg rolls so we got like a like corner cup like four different things you went with like the chili sampler yeah exactly the there app you sampler go. there you go four different things and made them all and uh yeah it's great love it you, so far you're impressed yeah it's great we got like um uh, like the little mini cookies oh. and it's perfect so like you know when you make like in an oven you gotta make a whole bunch of cookies and then like they're hard and stuff it's like <clears throat> we just want 
four cookies. Four one, cookies. Two, three, four. Got it. Throw it in there. You know, we want now instead of like making a whole thing of bread, I just want we just want like two pieces of bread. You know, know what's funny? Bread. You see like the the toaster ovens now when they advertise you can rotisserie a whole chicken inside it. It's like that's not what I'm using it. Like yeah, you're missing the point. It's like hey, I have this car that has a swimming pool in it. Why? Like I'm not interested, but. Though we did, I uh, never, we never use ours. I mean, honestly, it, it, we got rid of our toaster, which uh-huh. is now it's our toaster. Or we like, you know, for bagels and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But I think the only other thing that I ever use it for is kind of what you're talking about, like garlic toast or something like that, where I don't want to heat up the whole the oven. whole entire oven for just a, some small item. You know, what's probably funny. You probably end up actually burning more energy <laughs> using a toaster oven for you some. Think weird... so? I mean, it's I, electricity I versus gas. Is electricity more expensive? No, than but gas? I don't know. I think it's all probably similar, but I just generally it would be, you know, because you think in your head like, oh, I'm, you know. Well, it's just the, the, our oven takes so long to preheat, and that whole time, obviously, it's using gas to get up to a certain temperature. I'm like, this seems like a waste for two pieces of bread, David. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, so yeah, toaster oven, get one. You give it a thumbs up so far. You're thumbs impressed. up on the toaster oven, yeah. Pizza bagels were cooked to perfection. Yeah, I can't wait to get uh, pizza rolls. Oh, the next, uh, oh, Tostitos. That's pizza a, rolls are the next see, one. See, you got to be careful, though. They look like they're not hot, and then you bite into them, and it's Magma. lava. <laughs> <laughs> Mag my mouth explosion <laughs> anyways oh what else we got oh oh my new iphone uh you are looking at my new through the eyes of my new yeah, lies looking. literally two cameras of my new iphone 7 plus David. how is it uh it's great uh it's an iphone you had a seven or you had a six i six s six plus, s plus last and now this is the seven plus yeah um, the first thing i noticed you talked about it last or was it last week or maybe two weeks ago? two weeks ago yeah there's no home button it's like a haptic feedback thing yeah it's not physical anymore it feels weird it's different it's it already feels like it's because you know that i don't know why they I, sometimes i think they do stuff just to like they have to change enough to make of it of course and then i'm like you know because it's literally making the same kind of bzz, like it, it gives you feedback so it feels like it's a button but it's not a button mm-hmm. it feels like your button's broken it's just the thing is is like the button obviously it's a physical button that takes space to move and now they don't have to worry wow, about that space. see that's the things i don't think of that's like the same thing literally like jack. the the, the eighth that's of all an, space i saw a great video where one guy's like hey if you want your uh headphone jack you just do this and he takes a like an actual drill and drills into <laughs> it and then he sticks a headphone jack into it and he's like listen to your music and it's of course starts playing through the speakers like sounds great <laughs> <laughs> it's like i have I have not come across the crap i need to charge and listen to myself at the same time problem my wife unfortunately has um, that adapt- adapter doesn't come out until October, so she's just kind of see. That's got the a weird part. There. I don't see why. I mean, I, I guess they just want to get this stuff out during September event, right? Yeah. So I just don't understand why they didn't make that adapter. Maybe they thought well, it was not gonna Apple's be big... adapter. It's Belkin who's making it, and yeah, the team Bel- they worked with Apple. And I think it's more like I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to release it early. And I think they didn't want to include it with the phone because it's an additional cost. That too. It's like forty bucks, which is. But anyway, see, that's insane. I that's come across insane. That. Come on, man. That's insane. Forty bucks. I get it that Belkin has to buy the licensing from Apple for the Lightning adapter and all that stuff, but that's that's too much. It should be like twenty. You're gonna be able to get one. From I know, like freaking, a, um, I know, like fastconnector yeah. dot com or something like that. Yeah. But it'll blow up your phone at some point. Yeah, at some point. <laughs> but um. What else? I I, ha- I put hooks in my shower now above the thing. It's water resistant now. <laughs> so now I always had a problem with like listening to the podcast because like, I would put my podcast or I put my wait, phone. Wait, wait, by- you li- now listen to the podcast? No, not this one. Po- oh, okay. I, I, I like- do not listen to this podcast. <laughs> I, was like, I download no listen. Yeah, that's all we want. So like most mornings when I take a shower and stuff, I'm listening to like Fantasy Focus, though I don't know why. I'm listening we'll to like Giant to Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Giant Bomb, all that kind of stuff. Um, and normally I put my phone by the sink, like kind of next to a wall. So the speaker bounces off the wall and kind of stuff. but gotcha. it's never really loud enough. Uh, apparently our shower is loud or something. I don't know. Um, but I put like a couple hooks, little plastic hooks that are yeah. designed for your bathroom, um, in the shower. See, and I now I hang my phone on that cause it's like water resistant. I don't trust it. I, the, I've one well, that wall. It's like, so like if this is your faucet, I put it on that wall. So it doesn't really get wet anyways. No, I know. But, but still, if it's going to get a splash or two, but if me, it like falls, being rambunctious while yeah, washing my hair, <laughs> um, then you know it's completely fine. But now I can listen to my podcast and see. I just don't like water near electronics. Like I, you, I've we well, worked in cell that's phones. a good practice. Dude. No, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> but working in cell phones for as long as we did, like everything. No, I know. I just I don't trust it. Like and they I did see say, the commercial. If you do have phone, uh, if you do have water damage, it is not covered. See, that's messed up. <laughs> They're like it's waterproof, but if it's water damage, that's on you, buddy. It's like well, wait it's a be- second. they don't. Well, they don't say it's waterproof. It's they say water resistant. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but. You see the commercials where the girl's in like the floaty duck and she's like looking at her watch and it's got water all over it. I'm like, what are you doing? 
<laughs> like, well, people have done tests even with like the no, first Apple Watch that I have, where you can swim with it just fine. But it because it wasn't rated to a specific amount, people are scared. They actually there was a um, nope, don't trust on any the new of Apple that. Watch. Remember, I talked about how the speaker will push out the water. It was mm-hmm. kind of designed to do that. There was a cool sl- a slow mo video on Nine to Five Mac of it pushing out water, and it creates like a, a vibration sound. It's like brrr, and you can see the water like <laughs> spit out of the thing. It's super cool. I don't even trust like. Any like lights in a pool? I'm like, this is all bad news. <laughs> but anyway. in that iPhone is, I mean, it's an iPhone. The biggest thing is the camera. Um, I think it's this is a wider view now by yeah, default. I think I so. Think. Yeah, it seems like a wider lens. When I'm we hopefully were... not wider. <laughs> you just take it up more of the shot or <laughs> right. less. You would technically be if it was wider shot, you would be thinner. So true. So, Thank you. The camera you loses ten pounds. There this you time. go. But um. I talked about that new uh, portrait mode they're doing where it kind of emulates the DSLR, the blurry effect. It's in beta right now if you're part of the iOS beta program 10.1. But I got that on my phone and like I just showed you like here. It's like, legit. It looks ridiculously yeah, good. It's cool only for the 7 Plus. But. Think of like in uh, you know movies where they'll they'll focus on maybe something in the foreground and then it'll it'll shift to the background so the foreground object becomes blurry. It's your traditional portrait photography, you know. Yeah, so it looks it looks amazing. Like I this. just showed you boom, it's like holy crap, that looks like a professional photo. Yeah, from a iPhone. Yeah. Like I mean the the cameras have always looked really good on the iPhones, but they have never been able to do that. Usually like when we we film the podcast or we do things, I usually lock the um the actual um focus mm-hmm. um but now it's it's getting better and better where it actually it knows what you want to look at that's fine and it's all done through <laughs> software and it's not perfect like you can no, zoom in so. around some of the edges of the device it's like it like didn't catch the blur but it's obviously in beta but that's it's only gonna the, get better but but that's using both cameras right that's yeah, how it's both creating cameras. that effect that's super cool. and it's all software instantly it's just that's so cool it's gonna happen anyways my last thing of the week david happened today speaking of victorville so you went to California this this morning? Yes, this morning. This morning at oh god, I woke up at four in the morning. This is I, I going on like a road trip or anything, and you wake up and it's still like dark outside is the worst feeling in the world because you're like, let's wake up so we can sit in a car and drive for hours, yeah. like and be exhausted. Like, so let me let me go over why I went. So- 